There is no one in this world who likes to be told what to do. No one, not even one person. There is just this thing in man that doesn't like to be told what to do. Man generally just doesn't like to feel control or to be under someone. Man just likes to be in charge, in control of his life, doing what he wants and likes to do whenever he feels like it. All of this is the nature of man, but in order to successfully walk with God, you will need to learn obedience. In your Christian journey, my friend, once in a while, God will ask you to do some things you might not understand why, but child of God, be obedient to God whether you get it or not. If he asks you to do that thing, it is for a reason. Trust him, my friend, to be faithful and to be able to save you from it. What is that thing the Lord has asked you to do? As he said, you should quit that job. As he asked you not to go in for that surgery that you feel you really need. Or, as he asked you to adopt that child that you saw on the street, do you think, my friend, that God is telling you to leave that town, to leave that city, to go to or leave that country to another? Beloved, God is intentional about all he does. It is for a reason. So, even though the reason may not be clear, just do it in faith and trust in him. God, my friend, is your creator. And like any other manufacturer, he knows his product or creation better than any other person, including the product itself. He knows what is best for his creation. So if he asks you to do something, it is because he wants to lead, to protect, and to guide you to what is best for you. Trust, my friend, that he can never lead you astray. He can't lead you to doom or failure. In fact, in John, the 14th chapter, the 23rd verse, Jesus says, If a man loves me, he will keep my words. So, obedience to God is an expression of love for God. Let's look at the life of a prominent man in the Bible, in our father Abraham, the father of many nations. Let's look at his journey with God. Abraham's life, my friend, and walk with God was that of complete trust and obedience. In fact, in Genesis, the 12th chapter, God asked him to leave his relatives, to leave his country and his father's home and to go to a strange land, a land he knew not that God was to show him. Did he say, no, Lord, I can't leave. I can't leave my relatives. I am already acquainted with this place. Moreover, if I leave, who will take care of my father's house? No, he didn't say that. Abraham trusted God so much and he knew that if God is sending him to another land, then God's best for him must be in that place. Beloved, obedience to God is also a show of your trust in him. Do you really trust God? Can you, like Peter, the disciple of Jesus, step out of the boat in faith at the command of the Lord Jesus and walk on water as he did? Do you trust God enough to act like Father Abraham? As we see in Genesis, the 22nd chapter, when God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, Isaac, his son that he loved so much, the son he waited a hundred years for. What did Abraham do? Did he refuse? Obviously not. His love and trust in God caused him not only to express his love and trust in God, but also to be willing to give. Abraham obviously didn't understand how this command from God would be best for him. How on earth is the killing of your beloved son the best plan for your life? What good can come out of that? After a hundred years of waiting, praying and trusting for this, Lord, how can you even ask me such a thing? This is not fair. Despite the many questions that probably went through the head and the mind of Abraham and in his heart, you would agree with me that it was not easy on him, but he still obeyed God. He believed that God knows the beginning and also the end of everything. He knows when the time is right for something to come to you. 
What, my friend, is that thing that God has asked you to do or not to do? Has he asked you to take a leap that you don't believe you can take? Do you feel God is asking you to go out into the street and preach his word? Has he asked you to start a prayer session on social media with your followers? No matter what it is that you are convinced it is God that is asking you to do, just get right at it. Do it, my friend. God's instructions and commandments come in different forms, in different shapes and in different sizes. It may be as big and intense as sacrificing yourself, sacrificing your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, sacrificing your immediate pleasures and joy, sacrificing your monies, or as small as complimenting someone on the street, humbling yourself for the sake of peace and apologizing. In whatever way it may come to you, it is your obligation as a follower of Christ to be obedient, bearing in mind that we are to act as our master Jesus. He too was obedient to God despite his flesh being weak. He still went on and died for humanity. God, my friend, may wake you up in the middle of the night to pray. Child of God, please do not say that you are too tired to pray at that time. Or please, let me sleep a little bit more. I'll pray in the morning. Don't say that. You never know why he woke you up that night. You never know what your prayer may change or interrupt. And if you succumb to the flesh and not pray, you may just be giving the devil easy access into your life or your family. God, my friend, doesn't just do things for the sake of doing there is always a plan attached to every instruction of his and a blessing that comes with your obedience and of course a curse if you do not obey obedience to god's instructions and commandments is forever and always to our advantage obedience to god builds good habits in us like if god asks you to always get up at midnight to pray it is more to your advantage you my friend are the one benefiting from it you will be developing a good habit for yourself. Obedience to God is a way of worshipping Him. When we obey God's instructions, we get closer to Him and we get to know many more sides of Him that are not revealed to everyone. Obedience to God helps us grow spiritually as Christians. By obeying God, you grow in your faith and your trust in Him. So, child of God, the next time God gives you an instruction, either through his word or his servant, or your instincts, don't hesitate. Just get out in faith and act on them. Even if you don't seem to understand it, just do it because it is God. Trust him that he is intentional in all he does, and at the end of it all, you will smile. May God bless you.